and these are gorgeous common snapping turtles they'll become giant monsters they're great tank pets we have a ton of turtles right here in this box normal morph albino radio sliders absolutely flawless little dudes right here and absolutely amazing What is going on everybody welcome back to another video here at the ranch we got a box in our hand and you guys know when we have a box in our hand it can only mean one thing and as the title and the thumbnail we have a ton of turtles right here in this box we're gonna unbox them all check them all out see what they all are i know what they are but we're gonna show you guys what they all are and on top of that they will be all available on the website coming soon yes these are baby turtles and right there that's a little baby boy he's inside of there hanging out and if you guys didn't know yet we have the bear fam channel go check that out as well we're doing a uh, weekly vlogs me and kenya and it's really really fun it's really really cool and we're doing all kinds of cool stuff so kenya lead the way and uh let's get to the back on our baby section and um open up this box everything here on the ranch has been doing really really well uh, if you guys haven't been following along always keep those post notifications on so you guys can see what we have in store for you all you ready you think you can name all the tortoises that are here not every single one but every species let's see Redfoots. Uh-huh. Redfoots that are bigger. Uh-huh. Redfoots. Uh-huh. Elongated. Good job. Eastern Hermans. Good job. And what's all on the bottom? Sarcotus. Giant tortoises. So, we got a lot of tortoises here available. You want to hold the box? All right. There we go. Live temperature sensitive animals inside of your live box. We're going to go to our turtle section over here you know we have the tortoise section and then over here we have the turtle section so we're in our turtle section now we have all sorts of turtles here we have um giant leaf turtles they get real big they're called grandis we have side neck turtles and then all these containers are empty except right here we have a ton of little small hatchling wood turtles spotted leg wood turtles hondurian wood turtles and then fraud wood turtles um we are out of black wood turtles that'll be coming back soon more spotted japanese that we're keeping and a uh, bunch of stuff that are raising up and different things so we need scissors we need to open that box up and we need to start unboxing so let me get those scissors all right so here we go so what we have inside of here i'm not going to say it until we open it up i want you guys in the comments to see if you guys know what species of turtles that are inside of here if you guys are smart <laughs> good job if you guys are smart um most of these turtles are already on the website and uh, we're just restocking them all but yeah, there is about 60 plus turtles that are inside of here. Uh, people are probably asking, Blake, I thought you breed all your turtles and tortoises here on the ranch. Well, I don't uh, breed all of the aquatic turtles. I have a really, really reliable breeder that I purchased from. And um, I make sure they're all here on my ranch for a good amount of time. And then they get shipped out to their home. So these guys will be ready in about two weeks. They've already well started and they're all eating great from the person I got them from. And we got a lot of turtles, you guys. So we're gonna start going through here. Thanks, thanks. All right, so what's first up? Oh my goodness, check those things out. Can I guess it? Yep. These are something I've always actually wanted to keep. Albino? Albino what? Pink belly side neck turtles? Yep, check these wow. guys out, you guys. I've never actually had these here on the ranch before. And these guys are absolutely adorable. These are listed on the website right now, so go check it out. These gorgeous albino pink belly side neck turtles, well started. And there's another species inside of there as well. Did you, did you notice? Put it down in the comments, you guys. What are these things right here? It's a red ear slider morph, but what type of morph? Those are killer right there. Albino? They are albino, but they're another morph of albino. Well, put it down in the comments to see if you guys know what these guys are. So we'll keep those two right there. Next up. These are just regular turtles. They're regular turtles, but they are fire right here. Check these out, you guys. So these are northern oh my God, crazy. and Florida red belly sliders right here. So we're going to put them all inside of this container. Go ahead. Drop them in. And we got a ton of these guys right here. These these are uh, very nice, well-started hatchlings right here. And uh, make sure that 
you guys have a pond because they will become very, very large. These are great turtles for your pond and they are absolutely amazing. Some common species for you. All right, what's up next? Woo, we got- Hello, Marty. And Oliver's staring. <laughs> All right, up next, what would he have here? Check those out. Albino? Yep, these are just normal morph albino radio sliders. Absolutely flawless little dudes right here. And absolutely amazing. Check them out right there. Again, all of these are available on the website, so go check it out, you guys, and place your order. Because once this video goes live, I don't think these guys are going to last long whatsoever. Up next. Woo! What are these? Side neck turtles. What kind? Pink yep. We got a whole lot of pink belly side neck turtles right here, you guys. These guys are absolutely killer as well. Instead of having the albinos that are a little bit more pricey, well, much more pricey, we have these guys right here available as well. And there's a whole crap ton of them inside of there. And it's something that everybody has been waiting for right here. I think, or is there more species in there? No. That's it. We have for you all, open up the first container. We got to separate these because what happens, you know? They kill each other. They kill each other and they bite each other's tails. And these guys have flawless, perfect tails right here, as you can see. And these are gorgeous, common snapping turtles. They'll become giant monsters. They're great tank pets. As long as you have a giant tank, bigger is always better. And these guys are some predatory turtles. They eat everything. Right now, they're probably eating little chunks of fish, rats, anything that's meat, anything that's um, moving that they overpower and all that stuff. But we got a whole crap ton of turtles right here. So now what we need to do is uh put them in all of their tubs right here we got all different sorts of tubs for them all so i guess first up we'll do all the albinos together yeah. all right so all the albinos are going to go right here inside this container we got to make sure we put a cap inside of here and then we're going to just add a little bit of more water so it's at the top of this brick right there and i'm actually going to add another one inside of there to double it up nah we're not going to keep it deep water keep it a little shallow and there we are. All right, go ahead. So first up, what do we have again? I can open it. Don't flip them out of the thing. All right, here we go. Be careful of those gorgeous little guys. We got the albino pink bellies. There they go. Albino snows, if you guys didn't put in the comments, that's what those are. And a more albino pink bellies. Woo wee, those guys are gorgeous. Check them out, you guys. Not many available, as you guys can see. So uh, go tap in. And then we have some beautiful albino red ear sliders. Reason why I like shallow water is for that reason. These guys are still so small that naturally these guys will be living in the brush, the thick weeds, and hiding from predators and all that stuff. Obviously, albinos will not be able to last in the wild because something moving of this size will get eaten instantly and they will not survive. So they have to hide in the places that they can hide from the predators. And that would be in shallow, shallow, shallow water in the greens and the vegetation and everything here. We have shallow, nice one, two inch water with a little brick for them to get land. And that is it. We have a nice flawless group of golden coins right there. Next up. Uh, we could do all of our red belly sliders. And we could place all those guys inside of this container right here. Because they're probably they're a little big. And we'll put them inside of here. Go ahead. Oh, those are not red bellies. Those are pink bellies. Red bellies. All the yep, all the green ones. Good job. There we are. There we are. All right. They're learning. So these guys are going to be eating pellet on top of... Let me turn this off. They love green. So if you guys purchase them, make sure you're always offering them fresh, green, leafy uh, produce or uh, any types of greens that you're able to give to tortoises and turtles. So like hibiscus leaves are good. Um, mulberry leaves are good. If you have any water lettuce or hydrilla or hyacin, you can definitely offer that as well. Gorgeous little guys right there. All doing good. These guys get big, you guys. So remember, they're not a small species of aquatic turtle. They're going to be getting easily around 10 inches. So they're going to need a large pond 
when they become adults. That one's pretty. Yeah, there are some pretty ones in there. All right, what's next? Now we have the pink belly side next. So I'll place those guys here. Let me see if I have a bigger container or a bigger thingy. I'm gonna use this for them. Cause there's, a, there's quite a few of them in there. So that's good right there. Put this back over here. Uh, no filters on this, you guys. This is, let the water go down real quick. We have these gorgeous little uh, pink bellies, like we were mentioning. All the white that's on them is just a paper towel that is broken up on there. Uh, they're gonna go inside right now. And that is perfect right there. A nice little well-started group of pink belly side neck turtles. These guys are only gonna be getting females around six to eight inches, males really no more than about five inches. The males are smaller in this species. And uh, real, real cool turtles, they could get along with just about anybody. They are carnivores as well, so at the end of the day, every turtle has a different personality, so just always be careful if you're gonna place them with anything that's expensive that you might not want to get eaten. This is getting kinda gross. Why? Oh, cause it's all broken up in there? Yeah, let's pull it. Oh, oh, that was his foot. It's quite a few more in there. Make sure, throw anything away. All right, we're good. Put those containers to the side. And then we have, so we have all the things right here. These guys are available as well on the our website. Gorgeous side neck turtles, well started right here. Look at them. Check them out. All right, so now we have one, two containers right here. And we're definitely gonna have to split up the uh, snappers because we don't want anything to happen to them because they will, uh, bless you. They will fight each other. But I think the best thing for these snappers, to be honest, is um, down here. Yeah. It's good. a bigger area. We can hide them all in there, and then uh, they'll be good. So they have a nice, big, large area, and they will feel safe in there. And we can give them some uh, hyacinth inside there as well. We'll get a cap. Put a cap right there. And uh, go ahead. You can start whoa, placing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa what happening? Oh, they remember. They bite, so be careful. Stop. Get them down in there. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Yeah. Monster Godzillas. Oh, they're, they're smart little guys. Future dinosaurs. Awesome little uh, snapping turtles. So cool. Four in there, five in there. Don't forget about him. And remember, you guys, if you smell them, just watch out. They have a, a musky smell to them. I'll tell you that much. Don't worry. They're getting their, their water. They're getting their... Uh... Oh, this one's crazy. Oh, they're ready to come out of there. I just put them there. Yep. Woo! They're running fast. I wanted to see if they would call out. Oh, I'm sorry. Next one. Nice, very well started snappers right here, you guys. Real, real big. We're going to grab a little bit of green in here as well so they can hide better. But we have a nice batch of them. So check them out on the website. They are available. And as you can see, very, very, very active. Not shy about anything. So they're going to be great for uh, clips and things for you guys to enjoy. A little bit of aquatic turtle diet. Everybody just gets a little bit. We're gonna feed actually a little bit more for the babies to make sure they eat because they are just traveling. Uh, and then like I said, we're gonna throw greens for everybody else once we start doing produce in a little bit. Um, but yeah, everyone's gonna get their food. This size is a little big for some of them, but once it gets softened in the first, you know, five, 10 minutes, It'll be soft enough that they could be able to bite right inside of it with no situation whatsoever. They're all right here in the bigger they container. Like they love to eat. They, yes, they do. They eat all all the time. Put a good amount in there for the snappers. They, they're they going to love to eat too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Japanese wood turtles. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at this. The snappers are hungry. They are already eating and they're smelling it all up. Look, he just spit it out. Oh, 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 I'm gonna get it. Snappers are already eating and doing their thing. Everybody got food? Spotted, spotted. Right. Yep, everyone's fed. All right, we're gonna turn off this water here. All right, y'all, so it was a good day. Um, we unboxed a ton of turtles for you guys. I hope you guys were counting on how many turtles there were. And maybe, um, I don't know, but 
yeah hope you guys were counting all of them there was a bunch of awesome cool turtles there that we unboxed they are all available uh we have tortoises as well available check the website all the time um people probably ask what are you guys doing with all the funds of all that it just goes right back into the ranch support the ranch as well we always want to make sure you guys are always doing your research make sure you guys are always checking um your where, where are you looking at the top of bears oh okay uh, make sure you guys are always doing your research to making sure you guys are doing the best of the best for these turtles remember they're going to live a very very long time they're not living no one two or three years and remember never release these guys into the wild always find somebody else if you can't take care of them once more give me a call if anything do not release them into the wild other than that you guys make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel put the post notifications on like this video and um hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everyone